All over how bourbon is treated before it ever hits the bottle. There's a push to repeal the bourbon barrel tax, but WDRV's Conroy Deluce explains how some bourbon country communities are now pushing back. People packed inside the Nelson County Courthouse. Very, very disappointing. House Bill 5 we feel like is, is a bad idea. That bill would repeal the bourbon barrel tax, an annual fee that every distiller pays for every bourbon barrel aging in a rickhouse. Kentucky needs to remain competitive. That's why Andrew McNeil supports the bill, which would phase out the tax incrementally starting in 2026 until it reaches 0% by 2039. Do it in a way so that local governments, local county judges, local fiscal courts can plan and manage uh, for a slow decline of this uh, revenue stream. He says this 16 year runway is long enough for elected officials to rework budgets and that the bill would spur more investment. The Kentucky Distillery Association argues most communities would see no revenue reduction for at least 10 years. But the smaller cities in the cities of Barstown and Royetta, people that don't have any growth because they don't have anywhere else to build warehouses, they'll start sliding immediately. In Nelson County, going to 0% on the barrel tax means a revenue hole of about $6 million. And we start laying people off and not filling ambulances and fire trucks and police cars and 911 dispatch centers. While the KDA calls the tax job killing, Pam Thomas points to the nearly 12 million bourbon barrels sitting in rick houses despite that fee. It simply allowed communities like your community experiencing the growth to provide the roads, the workforce, land and services the industry's very existence relies on. Leaving State Senator Jimmy Higdon wondering why this tax repeal is even necessary. Last year we had 70 announcements, 70 of new <clears throat> distilleries coming to Kentucky and 2.8 billion in investments. The KDA says bourbon is a $9 billion industry, but it remains to be seen how much of the money generated will stay in the communities holding the aging barrels. With photojournalist Neil Johnson, Conroy Deluche, WDRB News.